Good afternoon, good morning, or good evening, whatever time it is, whatever time of day you're watching this, and wherever you are in the world, I just want to thank you for joining me today. My name is Tina, and this is the inaugural video of Amber Field Mouse Jewelry. This is the first time I'm actually going to videotape myself opening a jewelry box that I purchased online. If you've ever looked at this type of content online, you'll know that there are some fabulous ladies and gentlemen out there who put out some great content about jewelry. Um, they will go through boxes and jars and containers, Rubbermaid, some of them, some large purchases out there. I don't think I'm ever going to have the nerve to do that. But anyway, they go through and they find things that are unbelievably interesting. Um, some things are humorous. There's some garbage in these boxes, of course. There's some very valuable things that have been found. I found a couple of valuable things myself. And it is just a lot of great fun. So I'm going to get started here. And I will probably babble along as we go. But the box that I purchased is from New Jersey. And it is, gosh, probably about 10 pounds. And I think I paid about $40 for it. I don't quite remember the actual price. And I figure if I have a good time today, it doesn't matter what I find in the box because this is very fun to do. So I'm gonna pull some of it out and we'll just kind of get a start with things that are on the top here. Oh boy. All right, so off the bat, I am seeing these little fashion jewelry daisies. They are very pretty. Um, I don't know if you can see them on that white card, so let me take them off. They're, they're just, I wouldn't even call these acrylic. These are plastic, and I adore them. And these will actually be mine, because how fun will these be to wear? So, first thing is little earrings. They are pretty. I love daisies. Okay, so I'm going to put those in the back there. Up next, we have a plastic stretchy, little raspberry colored beads. I think these will probably be happier in a lot where somebody can make them into something else. So I'm going to put these in a box, and if I get enough, I will sell a craft lot. Here's the same thing in orange. And here we have these beads, which I think, yeah, these are, they almost seem like they're plaster. They're, I'm not really sure what, maybe Fimo dough. They're something that I can't quite tell from the feel. They're a little bit cold. Anyway, it says live your dream on it. And I think that they will get to live their dream as somebody else's creation. And what is this? Oh my goodness, do you remember these? These were big, I don't even know when. I just remember them from when I was a kid. You could engrave them. It's a little, little bracelet. Has a closure here, put together. That was articulate. Anyway, it looks like it's it's stainless. So that is cute. We'll hold on to that. Oof, this is a big old clip-on earring. You can see a lot of the adhesive is either changed color throughout the year or somebody tried to glue it back on with something that's not great. Um, we have some golden nugget theme going on here with the silver-toned earring. It is unfortunately by itself, so Let's put it over here and see if we find another one. Step in here. Okay. Oh, that is a very cool earring. Very, very 80s. It's acrylic. Looks like it has some... It's been painted. That is really pretty. I hope I find that one. I'll put that one over there to see if we can get Alrighty, so... Here is a pair of pleather earrings. I think I'm going to put those in the box for somebody to make something out of. Oh, this is pretty. I love pink. I love pearls. And I love rose gold. These are all faux, but isn't that a pretty look? Gosh, that's beautiful. That's another big one. Let's see if I can figure out what's going on here, too. All right. So, all right. So, oh, so I believe this is a triple strander. Yep. That's what we have going. It's a triple strand. This one is made by Charming Charlie's. So, if you ever see that... I don't know if that's focusing in on that or not for you, but that is a Charming Charlie's. That is really pretty. It is a beautiful piece. Yes, it is. Okay. I like that. Oh, 
Now we're getting some interesting stuff. I'm telling you, the things that come out of these boxes. All right, next thing up, we have some earrings that are on the card and paired. Uh, these are Macriche, and those would actually be very pretty for a wedding or something. You know, they're, they're not the most expensive things in the world, but they're very nicely made, actually. They're very nicely made. Nice clean posts, they've not been worn. Um, I'm very happy with those. Very pretty. Okay, good bag. All right, so this, let's take a peek at this. We did have a little technical difficulty, had to sh shut down, our GoPro got a little too warm. So if this is disjointed, that is why. All right, well, this is actually really cool. Look at this thing. And these are huge. This is old. This is an old one. This is very cool. It looks very tribal. Um, got some, I would even say this is Lucite. These are pretty. And some pewter beads with the medallion hanging down. These look like sinkers, don't they? I love this. This is very pretty. I'm not seeing any maker on it, but I didn't really expect to either with this kind of piece. I don't know why. I just didn't even think to look. But that is that is really pretty. And if we wanted to see what it looked like on, we could do that. Let me match the mouse. How about that? And this is what it looks like on the form. Very nice. I like that. All right, so that is also available if anybody is interested in that one. Okay. All righty. Oh my goodness, look at this one. Well, this is a costume piece. It has some tangle. No, I guess it goes through this way. All right. It's got some wings and a heart shape, some AB. Um, rhinestones on there. It's a sparkler for sure. And chain is a little on the worn side down where it's, it's going through the bale. I think that's worn off some of the color, but um, I don't know. The piece, the medallion itself is actually, doesn't have any wear at all, no bubbling on the back. Uh, the bale's in good shape, so just the chain's a little, little wonk. But that may be somebody's you know, thing. I can see. Alrighty, what do we got next? Ooh, bow chicka wow wow. Somebody spent $36.50 on this thing. That is enormous. Look at that. And these are seed beads. They're turquoise in color. And it's a big old piece. Yes, indeedy. Okay, so there's that. If anybody is interested in that, I will just make sure everything is here. And these seed beads are notorious for coming, you know, loose and unstrung and what have you. I'm not saying so far anything. Hmm. I suppose it could be a pretty thing. It's really big. Really big. Really heavy. A lot of beads there. Honestly, you know what? I think I'm going to think about that because I don't know what to do with that thing. Oh, here is a very old, very used up earring. It's had some better days for sure. All right, we'll put that over there so if we get a match to it and they can go happily to the end of their days. Oh, look at this. This is a ring. It's a little, got a little bit of... I don't know if that is the way it is or if that's just got some graying in the stones or not. It's adjustable. It's had a life. Um, I think that will be better off living as a crafting piece for somebody. If I throw anything in that craft box and you're like, no, I want that, just let me know because it is yours. All right, so this is some beautiful chocolate brown. Oh, this one does have a tag on it. This is a Daisy Fuentes. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at this chocolate. I do have this thing, too. I got the stuff to do it. And I'm going to double this up so that we can kind of get the whole vision of it. 
And that is a really rich chocolate brown, you know, geometrics with all the uh, concentric circles there, different patterns on the circles. That is really a lovely piece. I like that very much. Very much. And it is definitely available if you want it. And you see my little friend on the top there, the Amber Field Mouse. I found him in my very first box. And there was only one of him. He's an earring. I was really bummed because I was hoping to find the other. So um, I have been searching for the Amber Field Mouse. So this is now called Amber Field Mouse Jewelry. And that's what I got. I'm sticking with it. All right. Anyway, that's a beautiful piece. Look at how, how much, look at the fun this is. Musical, too. <laughs> All right, that's available if you want it. Okay, this is a Christmas pin that looks like somebody had attempted to paint. I don't know if that somebody painted it after the fact or I think so because I'm seeing a little bit of red paint here and I would hope that that would not be a factory error. That is a very pretty pin. It's a little, little past its time. So we're going to put that in a crafter box. All right. Oh, this is pretty. It's a barrel clasp. So this is an old girl. Look at this one. Those are some beautiful colors on that. We have some olive greens and some dark chocolate browns. Beautiful. This is... um acrylic but they're very well done this is a really nice piece that could make a, a work suit lovely indeed that is very pretty it was a very pretty piece all right what do we have here oh we have some shell necklace this is not puka but it is just um, broken shell they are sometimes these are not real shells they're just plastic but this does appear to be real shell yep that's a real shell necklace it is vintage with the with the barrel clasp it's got a bit of a pink tone to it i'm not sure what this black thing is in here let's get rid of it oh my goodness Okay, there we go. So it's it's pretty. It's very surfer, very boho, very stuck in my finger. All right, there we go. Look at there's some really thin shells in here too. So these are definitely real shells. And this is a gunmetal black earring. Feels very nicely made. It's you know it's costume. It's very pretty. I don't know if you can see that on that black felt I put out for contrast. That's a pretty one, so we'll pay more attention to that if I find the other. What is this? Oh, these are little, those are just little gold tone. I don't think these are, yeah, these are just little gold tone butterfly earrings, pretty pink shell. They're very sweet, and there's a pair of them, so that's really nice. Any of these things that you see, they will be for sale if you're interested in anything. I'm going to drop my email down at the bottom so that you can email me if you're interested. I may actually go through and put some pricing on some of these. Is this a, an awesome little thing? This is a spider. I hate spiders, but he's cute. That would make uh, a pretty pendant at the very least if we don't find the maid on it. Something to wear around Halloween? I don't know. If you're dressed as a witch. Well, hopefully we'll find the other one. Very cute. Okay, oh, looks like I have a pair of these here. <laughs> these have everything. They really didn't hold back on that at all, did they? Little pieces of plastic buttons, little, these look like little bobbers. I remember this, the style of these little findings from when I was a kid. This is like very 70s, 80s plastic, but these are adorable. And there's a pair of them, so anyone's interested in these they're cute very cute all right here we have a silver toad and bangle uh, 
Not very exciting, but we'll put it over here see if we find any more. Oh, this is a pretty wooden earring. I like wood jewelry. It's filthy. I don't know if it'll clean up, but we'll wait and see if we get another. Oh, look at that face. Little silhouette. That is so cute. Very pretty. Little scroll work. I love it. Okay, let's see if we we'll get you. Okay, let's see if we can get some more substantial pieces out of here and go to little just earrings. Oh. oh, that's cute. Here's another one of these bangles. Let's see how many are in here. There for now. All right, here we have a wrap bracelet. This is. I should have taken off my other bracelets. I took off my rings in case there were any rings to try on, which will probably guarantee there won't be any. But this is a wrap bracelet. You, you know, you wrap it around as many times as your wrist will take, and then you button it there. Uh, it's very industrial looking. It seems to actually be in pretty good shape. Um, I think that's what it's supposed to look like. It's actually kind of cool. All right. In one moment, I'm just going to tilt this box over because it's hard to pull it out. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. Oh, now we have a avalanche of jewelry going on here. Now let's get the big things out of the way. This is a torque. And that's really pretty. There's maybe something in the box that goes on it. Wouldn't that be nice? That would be very nice because it's a really pretty one. Okay, put that over there for now. And I want to say thank you to Jeffrey because he is letting me use his GoPro to film this. We're trying this angle to see how it goes. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions about what you can see, what you can't see, um, what you'd like to see more clearly or what have you, please let me know. I'm sorry. I just have to stop for a moment and appreciate how awesome this is. We have a shepherd's hook closing here. This is just amazing. Look at this with parrots on it. Um, would I wear this on a normal basis? No, but am I excited that I'm gonna wear this for the opening of our tiki bar that we're building in the backyard? You betcha. So this is gonna be mine to save. And how fun are those little parrots? I don't know if I have anything in orange, but I could probably work something up in, in blues to go with it. How fun. I'm excited about that. That's going over here. All right. Let's see what else is in the jar. Don't we have some chain wrapped around things? I'm always nervous I'm going to break something trying to get it untangled from the rest of the lot. And some of these boxes, I've had one or two so far, but probably two. This is my third. Some of these boxes, <laughs> I mean, the tangles are just heinous. Jeff has helped me out a couple times. He's very sweet about that. Okay, this one looks like it's coming undone. I don't know what we have. It looks a little dirty. All of the stuff is just dirty. So here is just a little... Got a ring closure. I don't see anything written on there. I don't know that that is... Let's try our glasses and see if that helps, Tina. I don't think so. I think this is just a gold tone chain. It is rather dirty. Rather dirty. I'll try to clean it up and see if that comes back to gold, but I think probably that's wear on there. And I don't actually see the other end, so I think it's also broken. So, let's see if it's magnetic. I was kind of hoping, no, the closure is magnetic. This part is not magnetic. I was kind of hoping it would all cling to it so I could just throw it in the bucket, but now I gotta check just to make sure it's not gold. So we're gonna put that over in this little hold it place they have. Well, this is a pretty little thing. It's got a lot going on here, doesn't it? These little gold medallions hanging down. Okay, so this is a Kato. I have been learning ravenously what these brands are. So if you see the C with the 1946 in it, that's Kato brand. 
and they make some really pretty things. This is very long. Uh, it's probably, mm, I would say easily three foot long when you undo it. It does have a lobster clasp, which is a little bit worn, but who's going to see that? That's, it's rather pretty. Really pretty beads here. I love these smoky quartz looking ones. This is glass, but that one's got an AB coating on it. Little tiger eye, and that may actually be tiger eye. I think that is, yeah, that is actual tiger eye, some crystals. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Wow, I've gotten some really pretty pieces out of this box so far. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video short and resume on another video. It's getting a little bit lengthy and I don't wanna hold anybody hostage watching this. I will be making um, the remainder of the video with the rest of the content in the box. And it may take more than another video, I'm not quite sure. But I have enjoyed so far looking through all of this jewelry with you and I do hope that you join me for the next part of this inaugural unboxing for Amberfield Mouse Jewelry. You'll see that I've been posting while I've been talking a couple of pictures of some of the pieces that we've already seen. I've just put them on the form so that perhaps you can see them a little bit better. I'm not sure exactly how well we could see because I had not viewed the video that I've recorded so far. Anyway, please join me next time at Search for the Amberfield Mouse Jewelry while we look at the rest of the box of jewelry. And my contact information will be located below. See you next time.